Hello everyone and welcome to Forensic Extract and today we will be discussing very important topic that is the healing of abrasion and contusion. It is very confusing at times that how much time the abrasions and how much time the contusions are going to take uh, while uh, they are healing. So there is a color changes uh, in abrasions as well as the contusions over the period of time. So abrasions usually take uh, this uh, one week and the contusions heals in two weeks if everything is under normal uh, condition. initial the fresh abrasion abrasion if fresh it will be bright red it is bright red in color and after 12 to 24 hours after 12 to 24 hours what happens this uh, lymph and blood dries up leaving a bright red scab scab formation because of drying of lymph and blood this bright red scab will form in 12 to 24 hours what happens after two to three days after uh, two to three days there is reddish brown scab formation this is a scab due to dry uh, drying of blood as well as lymph so this reddish brown scab initially that was uh, bright red scab then the brown, bright red scab further uh, dries and uh, becomes reddish brown scab then what happens after four to seven days after four to seven days this brown reddish brown scab further dries and converts into brownish black brownish black scab and this brownish black scab underneath this scab this epithelium grows and covers the de defect so brownish black scab and this epithelium grows under this uh, this uh, scab and the under the defect and covers this this defect so this happens in four to seven days what happens after seven days after seven days this scab dries off scab uh, dries off this is dried scab dried scab and falls off this scab dries off and falls off leaving this depigmented area so this is depigmented area after seven days the scab dried off and uh, uh, left a depigmented area like this so this the separation of scab is from periphery to center and healing is also from periphery to center so this is different stages of healing of abrasion from bright red to this depigmented area depigmented area and this complete duration is about seven days or one week one week so one week is required basically for the healing of abrasion considering the nutritional status as well as the other conditions of the person under normal uh, circumstances so this is very much important Contusion is basically the effusion of blood, effusion of blood due to rupture of blood vessels as a result of the blunt force impact. Now the healing of uh, this contusion and uh, or bruise is also in this similar manner as abrasion. So initially this uh, bruise or contusion is uh, red, it's red in color. It is basically due to changes in various pigments like uh, hemoglobin reduced hemoglobin bilirubin biliverdin and hemosiderin so initially there is oxyhemoglobin so because of this oxyhemoglobin the uh, color of this uh, is red it's red and after this uh, there is reduced hemoglobin increase in amount of reduced hemoglobin that is responsible for bluish discoloration of this contusion so it happens the fresh contusion will be red and after a uh, few hours after few hours to three days it is bluish in color because of this reduced hemoglobin now this uh, bluish black color bluish black color turns into uh, brownish black it converts into brownish black 
because this reduced hemoglobin after formation of reduced hemoglobin there is another pigment that is known as hemosiderin hemosiderin it forms and this is responsible for this brownish black color it, it happens at fourth day fourth day and what happens between fifth to sixth day there is another pigment that is hematoidin hematoidin and this hematoidin is greenish in color this hematoidin is green in color so that's why this greenish uh, discoloration is seen at fifth to sixth day of uh, uh, contusion now between seventh to twelve days between seventh to twelve days there is another pigment that is known as bilirubin bilirubin will form and it is responsible for yellow color of contusion so bilirubin is responsible for yellow color between 7 to 12 days what happens at 14th days this color changes are complete and the uh, color of the skin is as original so complete duration for the healing of contusion is two weeks two weeks so average any contusion heals in two weeks and these color changes are also from periphery towards the center so guys initial color this red color is due to oxyhemoglobin the red color is due to the oxyhemoglobin formation and it is basically initial uh, in few hours so it is due to oxyhemoglobin then this blue color is due to reduced hemoglobin up to three days then there is further changes due to formation of hemosiderin that is on the fourth day hemosiderin then there is formation of hematoidin that is greenish in color on fifth to six days and there is formation of bilirubin further formation of bilirubin at between seven to twelve days so it is responsible for yellowish color and that is bilirubin so you can remember it as modesty modesty because initially it is oxyhemoglobin then there is reduced hemoglobin then there is hemosiderin then there is hematoidin then there is bilirubin that is yellowish in color so it is easy for me it is easy for me to remember this uh, color changes this color changes uh, in the form of modesty so from oxyhemoglobin to the formation of bilirubin you can easily remember the various color changes in contusions it is very important to give uh, the time since the uh, injury was produced and at times it is very much significant in certain cases or solving the the very complicated cases and uh, deciding the time since death also so these uh, uh, various findings we will be discussing and one important point is that whether these injuries are uh, can be considered as uh, the grievous injuries or not as you all know that the uh, total eight closes are there eight closes of grievous hurt and other than these uh, injuries which are not included in these eight closes are the simple injuries or the simple heart so this uh, the abrasions are most of the time superficial injuries and superficial injuries hai so they they heals without leaving uh, any scar mark most of the times so under what conditions do let me know in the comment section under what conditions these abrasions can be considered as grievous injuries there's uh, there will be certain conditions uh, under these abrasions can be considered as grievous injuries because most of the time they are simple injuries so do let me know we'll be discussing in the upcoming video so please do subscribe for extract and keep on watching stay tuned thank you so much